Ashe Scorpios, how are you guys doing? This is Destiny 777 Tarot. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm honored that you chose me to be your spiritual advisor. For those of you that do know me, I'm a Sagittarius, but I would like to extend my services to all zodiac signs. Do be advised this channel is for adults only. Please have permission from parents to watch my tarot readings. How are you guys doing? Thank you all for taking the time out to even view the reading, Scorpios. Thank you all for the love and support that you show. For those of you who are um, already subscribers to the channel, go ahead and make sure your post notifications are turned on so you can be notified every time I post. So I'm going to cleanse the, cleanse the energy right now, Scorpios, in the room and over my cards. I be forgetting to buy the lighter. <laughs> All right, Scorpios, here we go. Hey guys, so we're gonna just cleanse this energy right now in the room, over the cards, over the house. Okay, guys, make sure you're investing in your spiritual, you know, protection, taking your spiritual vibes, taking good care of yourself. Okay, Scorpios, take good care of yourself. Let's get the messages. Okay, Scorpio, so good news is coming to you guys. Maybe you're getting, you know. A new job or you're taking a more responsibility at work. Yeah, the wheel of fortune is here. So things are definitely going to turn around in your favor, Scorpios. Yeah, you got clarity about the situation. You're no longer confused. You're in some Knight of Cups energy. You're going to go offer a genuine cup of love to someone or a genuine offer. What's the accurate all right messages for my Scorpios? All right, guys, so this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The first two cards we have out is the Hangman Upright. So you guys can be the little Pisces. And then we got the four of five of Pentacles here, Upright. So Tower and Hair Font. And then we got the High Priestess in the reverse. This is a Frost Practitioner at the bottom of the deck. We have the Hair Font and we have the Tower, guys. So I don't know if this Pisces is somebody that you were like dealing with or somebody that is like putting things in your head and telling you this is how you should live your life. This is what you should do. This person is a Frost Practitioner. This person is also someone that's restless because your relationship or your family situation still stands. Yeah, two of cups here with the cherry. This could be someone that's trying to infiltrate your relationship for negative reasons, negative connotations. Okay, guys, they're trying to break someone, some two people up here, this Pisces or um, a Taurus, because we have hair font here, the Taurus energy. Yeah, create some type of sudden change with the tower. So let's clarify this tower and the hair font upright for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What are the messages? Too many cards. That's why the hair front of white is the tower of white. It's a Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Yeah. So, someone is definitely confused. Their thoughts are very chaotic right now. And this is clarifying the tower. Some sudden change that they wanted to bring about in this marriage or this committed relationship. Could be same-sex marriage. And one of these people could be a Taurus. Okay, guys? Or a tarot reader. So, we have page of cups here in the reverse. Somebody is bringing bad news to you guys or you're bringing bad news to someone about a marriage okay queen of cups upright this could be a pisces cancer or scorpio here again guys and then we have the ten of swords gemini so someone is thinking of different ideas on how to get you to betray someone and walk away from this person because we also have the 
Nine of Cups here, upright, behind this Ten of Swords. Okay. Clarify the Five of Pentacles upright with the Hangman in reverse. For my Scorpios. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, this Pisces is a third party or this person that's in this energy of trying to come up with like different ways. Because the hangman represents new ideas. So somebody's trying to come up with a new idea. Okay, three of um, swords is here. There could be some type of heartbreak here due to some juggling that was going on or due to someone one that wants to stop this juggling. Yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords upright. Someone is definitely walking away. The tables have turned. Someone feels defeated and someone else is getting good news. Okay? So if you're waiting on some type of job, guys, it's definitely coming towards you. If you're trying to figure out, like, who to choose or choosing somebody, I feel like you're going to make the right decision or you made the right decision, Scorpios. Things are slowing down for someone else. And they're trying to hold on to you as tightly as possible. And this is you guys with someone else. But someone that definitely feels defeated. Yeah, bad news. And five of wands. Somebody could also feel defeated because two people or someone is not arguing and fighting or they can't argue and fight with somebody. Ace of swords in reverse with the page of cups in reverse, please. Yeah, it's a hole here. So we got the queen of wands in reverse. You, you, you Scorpios could be releasing the hole or, you know, yeah, five of cups came out upright. Somebody feels defeated. That's why their thoughts are chaotic. They're having an, a tower moment. They're having sudden change in their life. Okay, this person could be married or who you're married to or you're, you're married, Scorpios. Yeah, five of wands. Somebody is at peace. Peaceful resolution. There's no fighting going on. Okay, Somebody could definitely feel frustrated or sexually frustrated because a Sagittarius is guarded right now. Okay, this could be this third party. Yeah, somebody is choosing to go to common waters with someone else. Three of swords in reverse with the two of wands. Page of swords is wands is here upright. So someone is definitely watching you, Scorpio, or they're trying to, it's like they're constantly like talking bad about someone or bringing up old things or saying old things about somebody constantly and this is to make you juggle this person basically so there could be a pisces that's like projecting they're constantly talking about something bad that somebody did or said to make you juggle this person okay this this energy is in the five of swords here in reverse yeah this is an injustice that they're doing i feel like somebody is even though that even though someone is watching them and projecting onto them or trying to basically like talk bad about somebody, I feel like somebody is still moving forward and bad news is coming for this person that is choosing to move forward. True it's coming to the person that is projecting and talking bad. I feel like somebody is at you know, is at is, is in this energy of like wanting to release the negative, okay guys, with this five of swords here in reverse. And they know that something is an injustice. They know that this person bringing up this old stuff is an injustice. That's why they're moving forward. Six of swords and reverse. This person is moving forward. Somebody here could be pregnant or there's some type of like hidden pregnancy here or hidden birth. That, that could be the secret. Also, guys, somebody has options and they got one of their options pregnant. Or Scorpio, you got one of your options pregnant. And you're trying to keep this a secret, creating illusions and lies, and trying to keep someone confused. Okay, you're going to have seven out options, or seven is significant for you here, Scorpios. And Ace of Cups is here, okay? Yeah. I feel like this is going to come out, or it could have already came out, you know, Scorpios. So I thought a five of cups upright with the five of wands in reverse. Yeah, you made a decision. Or somebody made a decision and it's leaving you feeling defeated or this person is going to be left feeling defeated. Whoever you made this decision, whoever you chose. Because the two of swords, guys, is like choosing between two paths or two people. So I thought a five of wands here in reverse. My Scorpio or someone or other. Yeah, this was divine intervention. That's why this decision was made. Yeah, divine intervention. Judgment is here. Yeah, page of pentacles upright. So there's good news coming behind this decision as well. 
Scorpios, yeah. Whoever was collaborating this third party, okay, or this group of people that was trying to infiltrate and ruin somebody's relationship or this whole, this queen of wands in reverse that's talking a lot of trash about somebody. It's like all they do is talk trash about this person. Okay, that's, it's like that. this collaboration, all of the, this, this is teammates fighting and arguing with each other. Okay, if this was a third party, they're, they're not getting along with this masculine or feminine anymore. Okay, Scorpio, this could be you or this person that you're thinking about. Because somebody only has eyes for this person, somebody's soulmate. Somebody is realizing that they need to go back to their soulmate, that somebody is, a, is their soulmate. This could be you or, or someone else, Scorpios. Five of swords in reverse with the six of swords. All right. Yeah, this person is trying to hold on to you. A place or money, they're restless. Yeah, they don't. It's like they also wanted to keep it a secret that you're choosing to release them. They're losing faith and hoping themselves that you're releasing this person. Whoever, yeah, this th these options that you had, you're releasing these options, or this other person is releasing these, releasing these options. Somebody's losing faith and hoping themselves, or a star has lost faith and hoping themselves, or Aquarius. Okay, guys. They're restless, three of cups in reverse. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now this person could be trying to come after your person, if you're, especially if your person is someone that gets a lot of attention, or this is you trying to go after this person's person, that they get a lot of attention if they're, if they're like famous. Okay, they're trying to come up with different ideas. And what they're going to say is, is that they're going to go after your person. This Scorpio is trying to put a stop to it. Or you're you're trying to put a stop stop to a Scorpio because here you are showing up in the reading with the Dev card upright. You have an Empress here and you have a Six of Wands energy here. Someone that's on camera works hard, ambitious. This Empress is just someone that births ideas. Okay, it could be a mother, someone that also represents fertility. All right, guys, I feel like you're trying to put a stop to this person. Maybe you're trying to put a stop to this uh, person's success. Or somebody is threatening to do something. I don't know. Let's continue though. But nine of wands in here. There's a lot of sexual energy here. You guys could be having a lot of sex right now, Scorpios. Page of Pentacles upright with the judgment. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of like secrets here involving about a relationship. Somebody has addictions here. The, the devil is here. Somebody has addictions. Yeah, somebody indulges. This could be you or this other person. That's the secret here. Somebody has been fucking around. Scorpio, it could be you. Because there you are again, death card with the devil. I feel like you want to put a stop to it or you're putting a stop to it. Because we're unfortunate if something didn't work out or it's not working out the way you want it to. Or for this person, it's not Scorpio. If God how they fit. The moon with the lovers. Can I find the moon with the lovers? We have, yeah. Somebody is not in sync with their emotions. And I feel like they're trying to keep it a secret as well. Yeah. Because you're 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 either not in this Knight of Wands energy anymore, or you're trying to grow and ascend and they want to keep you stuck they want to keep create blockages and delays they don't want you to move on and this is you doing this to someone else Scorpio. got to rose how they fit four pinnacles with the six of swords upright please too many cards four pinnacles with the six of swords upright what are the messages my scorpio sun on the horizon direct bold accurate messages please at this time what are the messages? Thank you. Okay, so yeah. This person sees you walking away, Scorpio. This is you or this other person. But somebody sees somebody walking away. They're coming in with hasty energy. This is a Sagittarius. This person has recovered. This is you or this person from like losing sleep, being up at night. You know, being distracted. Not focusing on their work. I feel like this is you guys. Yeah, you're 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 going back to somebody or you're staying with someone, Scorpios. Yeah. Death card is say this is Scorpio. You're putting an end to something else and you're going to this high priestess, okay? It could be a tarot reader. This person that's in this nine of pentacles energy. That's how the queen of cups in reverse with the two of wands. Yeah. You're protect. Are you also protecting 
Yeah, something's going downhill. This this Queen of Cups energy is being met with a bunch of towers, disappointments, sudden change at this time, guys. All right. And I feel like you're protecting your relationship from this King of Pentacles energy. Or you're trying to like stand your ground with this person, fight your corner with the Seven of Wands here. Ace of Pentacles. There's someone here that has, yeah. I feel like also, Scorpio, if you're in this King of Wands energy in the reverse of womanizer or a bully, if you were in this energy, you got negative karma to face in the near future. Trials and tribulations in the near future. Yeah, I feel like that's why you're like blocking this King of Pentacles off. This could have been their idea or what they were telling you to do to someone here. Can I find a Six of Wands in reverse for my Scorpio? Yeah, this was a group effort. Whoever was in this group, Scorpio, this is you that was in this group, or whoever was in this group, this collaboration, whatever they, whatever this little third party, whatever this collaboration was that three or more people did, five people, seven people, ten people did, to ruin this relationship, to break up this, this is divorce, okay, ten of pentacles in the reverse, these people are being met with all type, of, the tower is here, sudden change, disappointments is here, illusions, yeah, there's, there's, this is a, a bunch of shit going on here for these people. They keep trying to keep it a secret, but it's happening. It's happening, yep. The High Priestess with the Nine of Pentacles. High Priestess upright, the Nine of Pentacles upright. Yeah, this Nine of Pentacles could be in this energy of like receiving what they deserve or getting what they deserve. Somebody's trying to infiltrate that with the magician here. Yeah, they're doing spell work. They didn't even want me to say that. I started stuttering, guys. It could be an Aries. Yeah, they're being ignored. Somebody's doing spell work to make this Aries be in, do foolishness, be in risky behavior. Yeah, they're analyzing the situation. because they, they, they don't want this Nine of Pentacles to receive something here. Yeah, this is Sagittarius. This, you, you could be in the energy of giving to a Sagittarius or doing for a Sagittarius. Okay, uh, Scorpio, or a Sagittarius is an energy of doing for you or giving to you. The Hermit here in reverse, this person is coming out of Hermit mode. You could be married to this person or you're coming out of Hermit mode. But somebody's doing spell work to put you in this energy to be the King of Cups in reverse. To, yeah, to have one night stands, to, to be a cheater. Pisces. Again, with the King of Cups here. So it could be a Pisces doing this to you, Scorpio, or you doing this to a Pisces. But I feel like you you want to celebrate with someone, or you want to celebrate someone, or celebrate something with the Four of Wands here upright. Somebody that came out of Hermit mode could be the Sagittarius. Yeah. And someone else doesn't want you to do that. They're trying to do spell work for you to revert back to this King of Cups, be a cheater. They want you to stay in this energy. Yeah, because we got the six of want, six of pentacles here in reverse. You're not giving to someone anymore or something anymore. And there, this person is like horny because we got the nine of wands. That's right there. Okay, Scorpio. That's why they're attacking your relationship. King of wands. Yeah, you're going to give a Sagittarius a, a, genu a, a, a genuine cup of love. That's where you're on your way to do. This Sagittarius is very guarded and you know that. But you're going to give this person a genuine cup of love. I feel like this is what they deserve is what I'm hearing in my head. And somebody else is restless about that. This Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, this energy is like restless about the fact that you're not giving this cup of love towards them. Okay? This could be one of the options that you had. But I feel like you're no longer confused when it comes to these options, Scorpio. Somebody or this person that you're thinking about is no longer confused when it comes to these options. They're coming back to you. Or you them. Okay? Nine of set, uh, ten of pentacles in the reverse with the king of wands in the reverse. Yeah, somebody feels like if they keep doing, you know, if they get you to be the king of wands in reverse, then your relationship or your marriage will end. Okay, they constantly or they're trying to create tire moments. Yeah. <clears throat> At least my chakras, please. Yeah, ten of pentacles. Yeah, this person is losing money, and they're this is a cheater. They're a cheater. They, that's why they want you to be a cheater, because they're a cheater. So if you leave your person, you're going to be going towards a cheater, Scorpios. Or if, or if your person leaves you, they're going towards a cheater. The magician is here. Yeah, somebody's doing spell work at night. 
while you're sleeping and meditating, Scorpio, there's someone that's doing spell work on you. Okay, because they know that you're in this King of Cups energy. And they don't want you to be in that energy. So while you're meditating, contemplating, and sleeping, this person is up doing spell work on you. Pisces energy is here. Yeah, they're analyzing this situation. They're analyzing you. They're, they're sexually frustrated here. This, this is a bunch of wands here. Somebody wants a sexual encounter with you. And you're in this energy of not giving this person anything. Clarify the king of wands in reverse. Yeah, but this there's a Gemini that's thinking very logical at this time. This person got a lot of clarity. They're not confused about something. They got a, There's somebody here. There's a Gemini here that got a lot of clarity. So I don't know if this third party has Gemini high aspect in their birth chart, Scorpio. Or you have it. Or, you know, this other person. Yeah, somebody, yeah. Somebody got a lot of clarity. They're in this Ten of Swords in reverse energy. They're releasing and rising above haters and drama and foolishness. And they're thinking very logical at this time because, yeah, they got a lot of clarity. There's a Gemini here that got a lot of clarity. Someone here is ascending and growing, and someone's trying to do work against that. The devil here in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse. That, that work that they're doing is not working. What's this King of Wands in reverse? Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody could have like fertility issues, Scorpio. This is not you or someone else. I feel like somebody is celebrating this because they realize that somebody could, they, like they're, a new beginning is not going to come for this. Or they're trying to get you to see that, that this person has fertility issues with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay, so you not want to give this person a new beginning. Or somebody is pregnant with the Ace of Cups in reverse or just gave birth. Or somebody is extremely fertile at this time. But there's a new beginning coming. There's a cycle that's closing out elsewhere. And then there's a new beginning coming or a cycle closing out, period. Or a new beginning. Nine of Wands here. There's a lot of sexual energy here, Scorpio, with the Seven of Pentacles upright. You guys could be sexually frustrated for some reason. And you're analyzing the situation. Three of Cups here. Maybe you're celebrating or you're going to be in this celebrating energy with someone else. Let's the Three of Cups with... The Seven of Pentacles, please. Yeah, the chariot here. So you guys could be walking away from a relationship because you're not happy or... What is the chariot with... Because we have the Two of Cups here in reverse. So can I find the chariot with the Two of Cups, please? Direct both accurate messages. Yeah, you're stabbing someone in the back or someone's stabbing you in the back, Scorpios, because this person is childish. Or you're a child is you no longer feel stuck, trapped, and bound. Yeah, this is a marriage because the hair fine is before this. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be in this energy here once you do this, Scorpio. It's going to be a good idea and then it's going to turn into a burden. You're going to be left in that energy right there. Yeah, you're going to be frustrated as well. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to try again aimlessly. In a situation, but somebody here is getting a lot of clarity about something, and I feel like someone else is unhappy about this person getting clarity, or this is you, Scorpio. Clarify this King of Cups, please. Okay. One card. Thank you. Yeah. Ten of Cups in the reverse. You're going to lose your family. You're going to lose everything, Scorpio, or this person is. Clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody's trying to draw you or you're trying to draw somebody in a necessary argument. It could be an Aquarius trying to do this or you're doing this to an Aquarius, Scorpio. Somebody also find faith and hope in themselves again in God. Yeah, Ace of Wands is here, success. So if you get to draw this person out, it's like they feel, you feel successful or this person feels successful if they get to make you argue with them. But whatever somebody is working on here with this eight of pentacles in the reverse, like you're gonna, it's not working. It's not gonna work. Somebody is gonna be a, like, you're gonna feel like somebody was a lost opportunity. Okay, Scorpios, or somebody's gonna feel like you're a missed opportunity here. Yeah, somebody's gonna grow in a sin with the devil here in reverse. Or if this is you or this other person, seven of swords here in reverse, that's the truth. Let's find this king of cups with this nine of wands of white. Five, six, five. For Scorpios. Yeah, the emperor. Somebody is definitely taking control of a situation, taking control of their life. Could be an Aries. They're going to offer this cup of love. They're thinking very logical. Yeah, this, no, this queen of wands, upright, this person that's vivacious and witty, is thinking extremely logical at this time. 
What about the Nine of Wands? I feel like this emperor could be thinking logically as well too, yeah. There's, some, uh, there's someone that can't come up with any ideas regarding this Sagittarius because I have the Nine of Wands here. This is definitely a Sagittarius that's very guarded. It's like this person is having a, a mental breakdown because this person, this Queen of Wands is upright. They're not in the reverse. They're having a clarity block. They could be also lying about being pregnant or somebody saying that this Queen of Wands is lying about, be lying about being pregnant for some reason. Or if they are pregnant, they lying, something like that. Clarify the Empress in reverse. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Something, the tables are turning on this Empress in the reverse. That's all it is. Somebody found their confidence, yeah. What's the outcome here, guys? Ancestors got for this reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The fool is here. So you're going on some type of journey, Scorpio, Aries energy. You got Aries highly aspected in your birth chart, or some Aries is going on some type of journey. Okay? You're gonna pack light, or this person is gonna pack light. You're thinking very logical. Or you guys could be moving also. Because you know, this person is packing up something here. Moving, uh, Aries. Okay, you're thinking very logical, or there's some type of authority figure that's making you be in this energy. Or, you know, I don't, I don't know. Just make you be in this energy of like taking risk or something like that, Scorpios. But you guys could be moving. The reason I don't think that's that's that because I got the Six of Pentacles here in reverse. So you know, and then I have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. There's someone here that's definitely being released. Yeah, Queen of Swords energy. Someone found their confidence. Here, Scorpio, and they're yeah, this could be an X coming back as well. This Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so you're releasing a third party, Scorpio. Yeah, you're releasing a third party. This person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You're no longer giving to this third party. It could be an X, Queen of Swords, definitely be a Virgo. And then we have the strength in reverse. I feel like you found the confidence to do this. Maybe due to some secrets coming out, but you found some type of confidence in yourself. It could be a Pisces as well. And you're going on this, you're taking this leap of faith. Yeah. Either with someone that's thinking very logical, uh, King of Swords energy upright, or you're in this energy of thinking very logical. So let's get some messages from the sex positive tarot, Scorpio. Get one card, please, for the energy. Scorpio, someone arising. Give me one card for Scorpio. Oh, so we have edging, Scorpio. So, yeah, I feel like when you guys, it's, like I said, it's a lot of sexual energy. I feel like when you guys have sex with someone, I could be speaking to a masculine. I feel like you have to, like, hold back because the pussy is good. And this could be for a feminine too. Like maybe you make this masculine feel like they have to constantly. Because edging is like when a man is like, like they don't want to come yet. So they kind of hold back a little bit. This is the energy that you guys are in when you have sex with someone here. Maybe that's why you're choosing to release this third party because they don't make you feel that way. Also guys, be careful if you don't want to get someone pregnant. Okay, or maybe you're, you know, you did get someone pregnant because I have orgasm here at the bottom of the deck and I, it's the tower. So maybe you did get someone pregnant. Maybe you felt like you should have held back. Okay, so just apply the rose how they fit, guys. You know, I'm going to get one more card because I don't know. Let's get one more card for this edging. Clarify edging for Scorpio. We have you. Yeah, so Scorpio. Um, Also, don't have sex with someone rare, Um, raw. I said rare, <laughs> raw guys, because you is like someone that has HIV, but that it's not transmittable because they have a low dosage. So just keep that in mind, guys. But I'm going to clarify one more time for Scorpio. Clarify you for Scorpio, please. Give me direct, accurate, bold messages, please. Yeah, we have orgasm with the tower again. So if you guys are having sex with someone raw, you need to go get tested, you and their person, especially if this is a third party situation, 
do, go ahead and make you you know make it known that your person needs to get tested or you need to get tested guys because someone here has hiv and it's a low dosage it's not transmittable but i don't think you guys are aware because i have tower okay i have the tower clarify orgasm Maybe this already happened as well. And like I said, you're in the energy or this person is in the energy of feeling like, damn, I should have wrapped up. I should have never fucked this person up. Okay? I should have jimmied up. Orgasm. Can I buy orgasm for Scorpio? Can I buy orgasm for Scorpio? So I'm right on that one. Yeah, we have self-determination here. Yeah, so I feel like you're trying to keep this a secret, Scorpio. If somebody wants you to keep it a secret, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea, Scorpio. That's bad advice. Yeah. Asexuality. Maybe in coming out here and explosion. Okay, so maybe you guys, like, mess with somebody that doesn't consider themselves, like, someone that have sex with a man or a woman or someone that has sex with, I don't know. Because I have coming out. I feel like this is going to come out. The truth is going to come out. Exploration, yeah. Somebody is going to go to the doctor or they're going to go get a checkup and they're going to find out that they have this or somebody is going to just tell you, yeah, we have demisexuality. This could be like someone, I don't know, orgasm. Yeah, sex education here. Yeah. Someone's going to find out, basically. Sex education here. Yeah. It's going to be talked about. Somebody's going to tell you or they're going to, and we have assertivity in the reverse. So you're not even going to want to have sex with this person anymore once you find this out, Scorpio. All right? Or this person is not going to want to have sex with you anymore once they find out that they have that you this person has HIV or you have it or however it's going to go down. But it's going to come out. It's going to come out. Especially if you've been having sex with this person raw. Give me some messages. Time frame for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What are some direct, accurate, bold messages? You have to remain consistently positive. Once that happens within two months, we have the momentum is rolling. Stay positive. It's on the way. Give yourself more time, more self-love once that happens than within a year. Direct, accurate, bold messages, please. We have six months. It's better to give this more time to come in. We have within the next three weeks. Two months. Sometime around your birthday. Before the holidays. At the bottom of the deck. You have conflicted thoughts. It will not happen unless you feel completely certain. All right, Scorpio. So, you know, guys. Just um, protect yourself. Invest in your, you know, um, invest in your um, safety, guys. Invest in your spiritual journey. You know, make sure you're buying what you need to cleanse your energy and keep yourself safe. Your condoms, guys, because somebody here is definitely, they're definitely um, infected with HIV. And I feel like you're in the energy or somebody's in the energy of feeling like they should have held back entirely and not even dealt with someone here. Or they're going to be feeling like that. Or somebody is going to get someone pregnant and then find out or that this person is sick. Or somebody's going to get pregnant and then find out. Because I have orgasm here. So this could be a pregnancy. I feel like you're not, you're, if not a pregnancy, you're going to just find out with sex education here. Okay, Scorpio? So just um, take what resonates with what does it. Thank you all for, you know, go ahead and viewing the video. Um, thank you all for the love and support that you show. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, Scorpio. This is Destiny777.